Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Piyush Agarwal and this is Automate with Piyush. So guys, in this video, I am going to show you a use case using link queries. This is this use case I got through the community, a query from a certain individual. So the use case is that we have got a master sheet with us, which has some columns and some data available. In it. And then we have got an input sheet which we can which could be we could might be getting from some sharepoint or some website it could be from anywhere now the problem is that in the input sheet we have got some entries and in the master sheet we have all the entries so we need to map basically two columns from input sheet into the out, uh, master sheet and figure out that which entries are not available in the input sheet so let's take the example in the input sheet right now, I have got name, occupation, experience, and tools. Four columns are there. And in the master sheet, we have got three columns, which says name, occupation, and experience. Now, I want to compare the name and occupation of the individual. Like over here, I have got name Piyush with the occupation RP developer. Same in this Piyush and RP developer. So if these two entries are there, that means I don't want these. I want entries which are not common so according to these files these four entries are new for me these are new entries so i want to create a link query which can filter me out only these four records okay so we are going to check two conditions on this table first check if the name piyush is available in both the sheets and that piyush also has should have an occupation as an rp developer so let's switch to ui path here I have already had two activities, read range. One is uh, your DT1, which is reading the input file. And second is the DT2, which is reading the um, second master sheet. Now let's assign and simple use an assign activity and open its value. So what I want is uh, DT2 is our master sheet. So DT2 dot as enumerable dot where from dd2 what i want where function of x now let's now we are going to check in the dt1 so that would be dt1 dot as enumerable dot any so where function is uh, if a condition matches it is going to uh, give you back the records matching that condition whereas this any function it will check your condition with all of the records and figure out that is there any record in the data table which satisfies the following condition so as enumerable any and again function of y instead of x now here we are going to use our condition that is y zero dot two string dot equals x zero dot two string so our first column of both the sheets should be same similarly y one dot two string dot equals x of 1 dot 2 string okay now what it is going to do it is going to give you records which are similar now we just want the records which are not similar so before uh, this dt1 we are going to apply a not condition so now this not will represent that all the records which are not similar in both the sheets now currently if you directly assign it or run it in immediate panel it might give you an error like a dispose exception so uh, for to not get that so to resolve that issue issue what you need to do you need to just add a function at the end copy to data table and click on ok and let's now use a new variable dt3 which will store our output now I will just use output data table and message box to show 
how our link query is working. Let's store it in the required variables. Okay, now since we have used workbook activities, so I need to close the Excel first. And that's it. Now let's run the bot. Okay, so our link query has executed and it has given only the records which are uh, different in both the sheets. Okay, hope you guys understood this uh, how to work with this problem and how we have used the link query, which resolve like is a solution in a single assign, the best one. Okay, hope you guys like this video. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.